Buffalo Police, Michael Jordan, and Sky Jackson. What's up, folks? Brian Gaddis with another episode of Google Trends. Today is Saturday, June 6th, 2020. Um, there is a lot going on in trending. Um, as well, we just wanted to say... Just our condolences on the birthday. Yesterday was the birthday of Breonna Taylor. She's still trending. Um, Beyonce and host of celebrities wish Breonna Taylor happy birthday, demand justice for her. Music superstar Beyonce. Beyonce is actually from Houston. We went to the same elementary school. Took to social media Friday evening to wish Breonna Taylor a happy birthday and demand justice for her. Taylor, an ER technician who was fatally shot in her own home by police on March 13th would have turned 27. Such a sad set of circumstances, just horrific. Wishing her family condolences and her a very happy 27th birthday. Um, may she rest in peace. Buffalo police, two Buffalo police officers charged with assault after shoving, allegedly shoving 75 year old man. Now viral video of the incident shows longtime social justice activist Martin Gugino, 75, approaching officers before he's apparently shoved and falls back into the ground. That's ridiculous, folks. Just ridiculous. Two Buffalo officers were suspended without pay after a video showed police shoving a 75 year old man to the ground at a George Floyd protest on Thursday night were charged with second degree assault. According to Erie County District Attorney's Office, this is NBC News. A large crowd of police officers and firefighters stood in front of Buffalo City Court to show support for the officers as they both attended a viral arraignment on Saturday. Officers Robert McCabe, 32, and Aaron Togolski, 39, pleaded not guilty to the charges. They'll be released in his, his own recognizance, according to... Um, to NBC affiliate WGRZ. This is all NBC News. Now a viral video shows longtime social justice approaching a large group with tactical gear and saying something. The officers yell for him to move back before one appears to push him. Ridiculous. Really, folks? Do we really need that for him just to push him out of the way? Push him. Lay hands. I mean, I, I just was always taught to keep my hands to myself. I understand in... in no, everybody's fired up right now, but you just don't lay hands on, a, on an elderly person like that. Officers yell for him to move back, then stumbles back. A pull, pull of blood can be seen near his head. Still recovering at the hospital, is reported to be alert and oriented. Ridiculous. Comment what you think about what's all going on in the comments. Michael Jordan... Jordan Brand and Nike donates $100 million um, over the next 10 years. Michael Jordan and the Jordan Brand announced on Friday a $100 million donation over the next de decade to organizations dedicated to ensuring racial equality, equality, social justice, and greater access to education. In addition to the investments from Nike Inc., we are announcing a commitment from Michael Jordan and Jordan Brand to donate $100 million over the next 10 years, said Craig Williams, president of Jordan Brand. We must join forces with the community, government, and civic leaders to create a lasting impact together. There is still more work to be done. For us to drive real impact for the black community, we embrace the responsibility. This is on WATE.com, which looks like it'd be an ABC6 affiliate. Comment what you think. That's pretty cool of Michael Jordan. I know he's been more in the media these days because of the documentary Last Dance. Um, just, I think, the greatest basketball player ever. And so he's using this celebrity status to do good. Um, definitely. Definitely very um, generous individual. Manuel Ellis. For the death of Manuel Ellis, a witness told... Him, something. Told police stop hitting. Okay, black man who died in Tacoma police custody can be heard screaming, I can't breathe on dispatcher audio. A black man who died in police custody in Tacoma, Washington can be heard in dispatcher audio screaming, I can't breathe, according to an attorney for the man's family. Tried to arrest Manuel as the night of March 3rd after officers saw him trying to open car doors of occupied vehicles. According to his release from the police, police department. 
in physical altercation, Ellis had to be physically restrained because he was combative. Police said the officers called for medical aid when they saw he needed help, but Ellis died at the scene. This is ridiculous. Definitely so incredibly sad. May he rest in peace. Uh, this looks like it happened back in March, but definitely do go that. Um, Sky Jackson, okay? Sky Jackson dubbed as queen of exposing racists after social media spree. Sky Jackson is doing her part to bring attention to those spewing racist hate, but some are questioning whether using public to shame alleged racists is being dangerous. Former Disney star made the announcement on Friday to her over 300 that she wanted to publicly name alleged racists. If you know a racist and like to expose them, DM me on us and give me all the videos and what they might, what school they go to. I might not answer, but I do see it and will expose. Wow. She's going to be, I'm exposing St. Joseph. Academy in Baton Rouge students should schools should be teaching their students that issues like this need to be talked to Place me as possible from around the country. I search others. If you know racist, don't be shy. Tweet me the receipts While many were praising Sky Jackson for taking the initiative to not let, uh, let anyone off the hook for being racist other questions whether it was the right thing for her to do as she was exposing sensitive information to people who may even be minors Yeah, you definitely want to watch out for the sky's not that sky. That's not right at you uh, at all you can expose them but give out their school their state that puts them in danger racist people should be exposed why are you questioning that sky response please. so crazy interesting what she's doing definitely want you know all this to be gone on a, a safe approach felicia spencer is Final betting odds for Amanda Nunez versus Felicia Spencer. Fight card 250. Looks like she'll be fighting in 250. So definitely check that out. Takes place tonight. So Felicia Spencer's trending. Um... They have more Jake from Texas trending as well still. So, let me see what we got as far as birthdays today. July, June 6th. Carol Baskin turns 59. Wow, she has definitely been in the news a lot. We have Vic Minsa turns 27, rapper. Definitely want to wish, wish him a happy birthday. And Go Yayo turns 24. All right, folks. That's it for trending today, June 6, 2020. Let me know what you think. We got for the day trending number one, Michael Jordan, number two, Manuel Ellis. Number three, Sky Jackson. Number four, Jake from Texas. Number five, Felicia Spencer. But also yesterday we had Brianna Taylor's uh, birthday and Buffalo Police. So comment, subscribe, share, please. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video. Peace!